So here is a relatively straightforward equations of motion problem. And in this case, we're asked to work out two variables. What's the time for the balloon to actually hit the person down the bottom? And secondly, what's the velocity at which that the balloon arrives? Now with a standard equation of motion type of problem, I always ask my students to draw a diagram so that you can annotate it and it makes it easier to see what's going on. So I have a displacement here of my balloon of five meters. I know my initial velocity is going to be zero and my final velocity is what I'm looking for. And of course, I also need to work out the time that it takes to get there. Now, once you write down the actual diagram, I always ask my students again, set out the variables that you are given. And so I go V, U, A, S and T and then I simply fill in the data. So V I'm looking for, so I literally write V there. U of course is zero meters per second. The acceleration being down is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Our displacement in the downward direction is also equal to negative five. Now in this case, it's downward, so it's the same direction as the acceleration. So therefore that's why we have a negative value there. And T of course is what we're looking for. So we have five variables. Now all the equations of motion have four variables and therefore you need to know three to work out any remaining one and see we have here three variables that we know. So now we can solve for each one of them. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this but the first way that you can do this is to say okay I need to work out the time first so I have U, A, S, they're the ones are given and I need to know T so I'm going to use S is equal to U, T plus a half A, T squared. Now our u of course is zero. So now what we have is negative five is equal to, this disappears and I get a half multiplied by negative 9.8 multiplied by t squared. Now you see you've got negatives on both sides. So I end up getting t squared is equal to um, negative five multiplied by two divided by my negative 9.8. And of course these becomes a positive. And so my t now becomes 1.4 three seconds. If I now wanted to work out the velocity, I could actually use the T, but I don't have to because my velocity can be determined by V, U, A and S. And I have this formula. V squared is equal to U squared plus two A S. Like I said, you can use V equals U plus A T because you've just calculated T, um, but I'm going to use this formula so that I can demonstrate this formula. So in this case, my velocity squared now this is again is zero. So I have two times negative 9.8 multiplied by S, which is our negative five. And you can do the calculation. I'm gonna get a value here of 9.9 .9 meters per second. And of course it's a vector, so it's in the downward direction like so. So there you have it, a relatively straightforward equation of motion problem. Draw a diagram, set out the data, write the equations, and then solve it from there on in. Take care, bye for now.